Hey Kelly, I hear that the market is starting to change a little bit and my neighbor's house, it's been on the market for two weeks and doesn't have a contract. What can I do differently when I go to put my house on the market so that I can make sure that I get an offer in that first weekend? Hi, it's Coffee with Kelly time. There are five things that I think you should think about if you are getting ready to put your house on the market that can help you to be sure that you're positioned correctly for this changing market. The first one is to be sure that you have professional photographs taken. Now that might seem really obvious to you, but you would be amazed at the number of listings that I look at where I can tell that the photos have been taken with someone's iPhone or with someone's old Kodak camera that they pulled out of the drawer. They just don't look as good. It is worth it to have professional photos taken so that your house is displayed in the best possible light. Number two, you want to think about staging your house. If your house doesn't look like a Pottery Barn catalog or anything close to a Pottery Barn catalog, then you want to engage the help of your agent to talk through would your house be a good candidate for staging. Not only the inside, but also the outside because of course we are now in spring getting ready to go into summer and people will spend a fair amount of time walking around the outside of your house. Now you may not need full staging. You may need as one of my favorite stager calls it some zhushing and zhushing could be coming in and putting in pretty pillows and some blankets and some color, some soft things to really make your house feel more homey. But definitely have a conversation about whether or not you need to consider some staging. Number three, once you do go on the market, be flexible with your showing times. Keep in mind that not everybody can come see your house during the daytime while your kids are in school. They may be working downtown or maybe working at some other location and need to come in the evenings. You've got to have flexible showing hours so that you can accommodate when the buyer remember that's what you want is a buyer when the buyer is available to come and see your home as a matter of fact my advice to my clients is to try to plan a little vacation or a little getaway or spend some time at your friend's home for the weekend for those first couple of days that you are on the market number four be sure to put a lot of thought into and a lot of conversation with your agent around pricing I see a lot of houses right now that have been on the market for two weeks, and I don't think it's because there's anything wrong with the house. These are beautiful homes, but they are priced too high. They are priced too high even if the market wasn't starting to shift. There's a lot of analysis that goes into making sure that you price your home correctly and strategically to be able to create still some competition and drive that price the level that you want it to be. And number five, of course, be sure to select a knowledgeable agent that has proven results. For if they do, they'll be able to walk you through those first four steps. Best of luck, and of course, if you'd like my advice, feel free to reach out to me. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next week on Coffee with Kelly.